hi everyone in this short video i want to show you what you are going to learn in structural design for freelancers so the first thing we learn in this class is you learn about some tips on autocad you just dive into a little tips that you should know as a structural engineer so that it will make you work faster then also help you in organization after that, we talk about architectural design. So this is basically what should be your mindset as the structural engineer, what you should know about the architectural design, what starts with the class project. So this class project is going to be an architectural design in which you are going to produce a general arrangement for it. So the general arrangement is just going to be the first floor layout. We're also going to generate the staircase layout so the other layouts that will be needed for the drawing will be in the last part of the class. By using the superimposition, that means this is where we put in our first column. Then we put our second column. You see, the second column is at the intersection of grid line 1 and, and C. So you come here, you look for 1 and C. So that means we have... And the reason why you are not seeing the white color is because the, the upper floor has covered it. So we have one here then we also have another one at a and four a and four you have one here so once we've able to generate a general arrangement the first floor layout the roof layout then we now proceed to modeling our structure on proto structures but this course is not just about modeling the project the cost project we are also going to be dealing with the proto structures on its own so the first thing you are going to learn in the proto structure is just how proto structures work so you are going to learn everything about the interface everything about the uh all other information that you are supposed to know about proto structures then once we're done with that we create models how to create simple models beams columns shear walls staircases shear wall sorry uh different type of beams like slanted beams curved beams different axes then how to create models different ways of creating model on proto structures then you can also insert columns by highlighting intersection of points like this so the column is going to be inserted where you have intersection of x and y direction inside this box that i create so it's going to insert the columns. I hope you get. Then you can also create beams by just highlighting like this and click, and beam will be created. Sorry, my. You can create model from scratch. You can uh, in, you can import from other softwares like AutoCAD. Then you can also create the model right away from Proto Structures. So we are going to explain all of that to you. Then we explain all the uh, proto structures interface, where to find what we get. Then once we're done with that, then we now start with our project, the cost project. That is, you no, know, we've introduced you to the modeling. Then we now introduce you to how you are going to model the cost project. So we model the cost project on AutoCAD on proto structures. We model the first floor layout. We also model the uh, the roof layout so that the whole building will be modeled on the uh, on proto structures. So the next thing you do after you've modeled is now to set your parameter settings. Your parameter settings include a lot of information about your project that you have to tell the software. You have to inform the software about it. So some of these include your uh, your soil type, some of the uh, observations or some of the uh, settings you want the software to, to do for you. Then some of the design assumptions, your supports, your end conditions of your beams, the types of your slab, everything will be covered in, the, in this course. So once you're done with that, to create slab openings, how to create loadings on slab, different type of loading on slab, concentrated load, 
linear load, UDL load, every type of loadings that you can think of or that are possible for you to model on proto structures will be explained. Then we now carry out these design settings. So these design settings is very important. So a lot of students will learn proto structures or will learn design from YouTube videos. But there are a lot of lot of lot of things that will not be talked about in the YouTube videos. For example, what should be your settings for the beams? What should be your settings for the slab and column so that whenever you export your drawing or when, it, when you finish your design, your design will come out like a professional work, like someone like as if it's a, it's an engineer, a highly experienced engineer. So that's how your design will come up. So these settings are very important. So these settings will define the reinforcement, the concrete will be used, their spacing, how the reinforcement should be arranged. So all these things will be covered in the design settings. So then uh, after that, we now talked about the correction of the design. Most of the time, when you run analysis and you run your design, either you are doing, you are using Orion or you are using Proto Structure, there is always need for you to correct all this, your beam, your calcul your beam detailing results, your design results for the beams and from the columns. There are a lot of scenarios that you can have uh, that we can't really cover in this zombie video. We are just showing you what to expect in the course. So we are going to correct our calculation, our beam design, our column design, then also the slab design. So then we are also going to correct the detailing. There are sometimes there are some salient things you need to note about your detailing, so that once you export your drawing, you have a very you have less stress to to work on the drawing. Like that is you don't really have to edit and edit and edit. Once you make your settings right on proto structure, you have just to do some little editing. Then once we're done with the analysis of the superstructure, then we now move to the substructure. That is the foundation. So in this course, we are going to cover the pad footing for our columns. So um, so we are going to first of all you do the settings. This is very important. Then you do the design, and once you do the design, then you can extract your uh your design output. Then after that, we are going to explain to you how you can manage reports or not look at this assessment the bar bending schedule everything we are going to learn that then after that we talked about uh what you should do but before we do this lab detailing we're also going to explain the foundation layout you know when we are talking about the layout in the first part of the course we discuss first floor layout and the roof layout so we are also going to explain the foundation layout this is very important especially when you are dealing with a uh, part foundation so when you are dealing with raft foundation, there's really nothing much. You just have your slab and your beams, just like that. But in part foundation, there's something we call trenches. So you need to provide trenches. You know, you provide column base, part footing for the columns. Then for the block walls, you also need to provide foundations for them. So that's where we have strip foundation. So you have to provide this strip foundation. Then there are also ways of generating the foundation layout. We are going to show you that the maximum uh, panels, how, how wide your panel should be, how small your panel should be, what should be, what will be the effect if your panel is too wide, what will be the effect if your panel is too small. So all these things are important because this, as as I've said earlier, we are producing this drawing for construction purpose, not for just a normal class purpose. I hope you understand. So we are doing it so that it will be constructible. Then the next thing is, yeah, you know, we've talked about staircase before, but that one was just on proto structures. So here we are going to be talking about staircase layout, staircase design, and staircase detailing. You can't find this. <laughs> okay. So staircase detailing, we are going to show you how to detail your staircase by yourself, how to design it. First of all, how to do the layout. The layout means how you are going to support your staircase, your supporting system of the staircase, how to strategize. Then the next one is the design itself, how to design the staircase. Then after, how to detail the staircase. You detail it professionally. This is not just a software extracted details. Help you get. Then after that, you've completed all the things that you need for the project. You've done the slab, the beams, the column. Then your you you have to generate your layout. You know, as actually you you have your first floor layouts, but you need some other informations. Information including levels, including a lot of things. So we 
uh, tell you that then after that we now talk about project arrangement how you to arrange your project then putting your project to sheets plotting settings and also printing your project then we are now going to tell you how to arrange your calculation sheets then we introduce to you a software that you can use to easily combine your calculation sheet together then we talked about um information on the document that you need aside from the calculation sheet and the drawings there are some other documents you need to uh, uh combine with your work so that it can be approved in the local government or in the planning units or in town planning office or something then also the number of copies you need to print then information on how stamping going to work then uh you see this course is so detailed you can't find this kind of course anywhere and we are giving it out as a at a ridiculous price so i think anyone that really really want to learn this thing because that really wants to learn this thing you should take this opportunity and register for the course then the amazing thing is after this course you also have a certificate we are going to issue you a certificate but before you can have the certificate we have a project so during the course of the course of the class there is a project that to, that will be assigned to each student so each student is sub, is is expected to be able to prepare an approvable construction drawing structural design for structural drawing for the project assigned to him or her i hope you get so once you produce this drawing then you also give us the autocad file that you use then we assess the drawing we make corrections if there is need for us to make corrections so as the the correction we actually start from the beginning of the class when we talk about the ga so when you make the ga for your own project we correct it then you effect the correction so as you are modeling we'll be guiding you and also supporting you what you are supposed to do i hope you get so this course is so detailed and i don't think anybody should miss it because this is an opportunity for you to learn something beneficial not just so that you can just know for knowing sake you can earn money from it if you want to look for job this is majorly what you'll be doing in earning construction or in any consulting firm this is just what you'll be doing on every project on every project so i think if this is the best time for you to learn this thing you can start on your own and even create your own company and start you have to start somewhere so even though you still have a lot of things to learn but this course is an eye opener and will give you everything you need to know about structural design I hope you are going to make use of this opportunity and register for this course. We are waiting for you in the class.